All right, Pisces, thanks for tuning in to your July 2014 horoscope. My name is Athen, and uh, I'm going to separate the reading into four parts. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about yourself this month, your work, your relationships, and then your spirituality. So let's start by talking about yourself and your ruler, Jupiter. Jupiter is going to be in your fifth house this month. Uh, we'll be there for about a year. And so for you, it's going to be about uh, expression, okay? Has been and will continue to be about your self-expression and going with the flow, of course, but enjoying yourself, sharing more of yourself, creative projects, having fun, enjoying life, all these sorts of things is going to help give you motivation and a sense of joy in what you do. So continue to do that this month. Continue to express, continue to say, you know, show the world who you are and, and, and transfer who you are into your creative projects as well. All creative projects, not just artistic, but even into your work or anything that you do. Now let's talk about that self-expression. Let's look at your fifth house. Uh, the moon rules your fifth house and we have a full moon on the 12th in your 10th house. Okay, so something illuminating the first half of this month, particularly around the 12th, in regards to your career or vocation or what you're doing, your life in a big picture sort of sense. And how all of this self-expression is uh, contributing to that, okay? And insights coming to this as well. So all in all, it's about taking who you are and putting it into a sort of mastered uh, self, of yours, shaping yourself, mastering yourself, um, making yourself more uh, disciplined, you know, and then putting that self out there through your work or whatever you're doing that's giving back to society, okay? But putting yourself out there. So all in all, really put yourself out there first half of the month, particularly around the 12th, all right? I think um, you might find that quite... Um, quite enjoyable and envisioning with the, with the full moon. Now let's talk about um, the new moon, which is happening on the 26th, and that is in your fifth house of self-expression. So second half, especially around the 28th, something new about that, perhaps finding a new uh, passion of yours or a new creative project of yours or uh, finding out how you can allow more fun and joy into your life. Okay, It's so really the highlight for you this month strongly on that self-expression and strongly on how you can contribute and give yourself to the public, to the, uh, to the, um, to the big picture and incorporating that into your life. Now let's talk about your higher self this month associated with the ninth house. Okay? Mars rules your ninth and he's in your seventh. So there's this um, harmonizing of your higher guidance balancing these aspects of yourself, all right? And by balancing, I think you're creating a channel. And also, spending time with other people. You know, your seventh house is activated this month, particularly the first half. So spending time with your relationships, okay? Through that, you'll find guidance and purpose. So spend time uh, with others, strongly emphasized. Then on the 13th onward, Mars will then go into your 8th house and your relationships and all areas of your life will take on a much deeper, more meaningful perspective. Okay, And through this, I think you'll gain a sense of motivation as well because we are talking about Mars. So beginning some motivation, you're beginning some insight and some guidance. Okay, And an overall sense of purpose. But it's going to happen through the other and it's going to happen through releasing your attachments second half of the month. All right, so allowing things to go, not being too attached to any specific outcomes or situations, and then through that, you think you'll be um, truly embodying 
your higher self this month. Now I'll talk about your work. <clears throat> Let's start with your resource sector, your second house. Mars rules your second, and like I said, he's in that seventh, okay? So harmonizing your resources, balancing your values, balancing what's important to you. So as you're moving forward with all of this, it's also about creating balance in the resource sector of your life. In other words, what can you do to have fun while at the same time, you know, watch the finances, just for example, okay? But it's about giving time to all aspects of yourself, all right, and enjoying that. And not only aspects of yourself, but like I said, enjoying your relationships as well. And I think through other people, you're going to be gaining a great sense of value and attracting abundance through you. Abundance seems to be coming through other people, uh, through your relationships, the first half of this month. Then on the 13th, Mars will then go into your 8th house, which time, again, things will take a much deeper perspective. And this is going to have to do more with releasing your uh, attachments to um, your resources and your values. So while doing this, while enjoying and harmonizing with all of these values of yours, remember, particularly the second half, to release them and not become too attached. And as long as you're doing that, I think you're going to attract a lot of abundance your way this month. Now let's talk about your work as in the day-to-day -day work, okay, and your routine. The sun rules your sixth house of routine and is in your fourth house. So I think towards the end of last month, you've been feeling your way through your work, through your craft. And that's going to continue to be emphasized this month up until the 16th while the sun is in that fourth house. This is illuminating the way. It's shining that conscious awareness on your feelings. Okay? And then through understanding your feelings, through understanding your inner temple, you're, you're, you're understanding what you're capable of, what your talents truly are, at, not just at the workplace, but in all areas of your life. So feel into it, first half of the month. That's going to improve. The more you feel, the more that's going to improve your work. From the 16th onward, it's about self-expression. The sun will then be going into that fifth house. All right. So again, emphasis on that self-expression and expressing yourself second half of the month is going to allow you to really come into your craft, into yourself and also help you improve your health and your routine in general. So it's about enjoying that routine, enjoying your work second half of the month. And the more you do that, the more you will sharpen your skills. Now let's talk about your work in general, your, your service, your contribution. Let's talk about that 10th house, okay? Jupiter rules your 10th, and he's in your 5th. So through, like I said, through all of this self-expression, you're coming into yourself, you're expressing yourself, um, embodying and initiating and starting new projects and goals, and a lot of this is associated with your career, all right? So as far as your career goes, just continue to express, continue to have fun, enjoy yourself. It's really emphasized. And by doing that, you will uh, create positive changes in the work sector. All right, now let's talk about relationships. Let's start with the third house, communication. Venus rules your third, and she's in your third, all right, this month, up until the 13th. So <clears throat> share, teach, learn strongly emphasized for you Pisces up until the 13th. That's going to allow you to communicate. In other words, the more you share, the more you communicate, the better your skills are going to be at it. The more open your communications are going to be and the stronger your relationships are going to be too. Then on the 13th, Venus goes into your fourth house, so then it becomes more about feeling your way through your communication process. Tap into that inner temple. Tap into your feelings. Allow your feelings to come through what you say. Tell people how you feel about them. Let people know how you feel in, 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 in each moment. Be there for other people. Secure and nurture through your communication. F understand the power of the word and the power of the word as it carries your feelings in your relationships. Okay, So that's the emphasis on communications. Now let's talk about relationships in general, your seventh house ruled by Mercury. Mercury is going direct on the first this month, 
in your fourth house. So a lot of reflection on your feelings in June <clears throat> and how your feelings tie into your relationships. How do you feel about relationships? How, you know, do you feel nurtured? Do you feel secure? Are you sec helping others feel the same way? This reflection will then take on a much more hands-on approach as Mercury goes direct for the majority of this month up until the 28th in that fourth house. Okay? So feeling your way through relationships, continue to tap into your feelings, your emotions, your temple. And then through that, you're going to enliven and create new relationships as well. Let people know how you feel, for example. Now, on the 28th, for the last few days of the month, Mercury will be going into your fifth house of self-expression. So again, it's really about expressing how you feel. And then, uh, you know, into August, just enjoying your relationships in general. The more you can share how you feel right now, the stronger your relationships are going to be. And that's going to enliven your relationships. And then there's going to be more room for enjoyment in those relationships in the last few days of this month and into August. The emphasis is really on enjoying those relationships. Now let's talk about groups with your 11th house. Saturn rules your 11th and he's in your 8th, okay? So releasing any attachments you have to the collective, to the, to the neighborhood, to the community, to your friends, whatever it is. The more you can release, the stronger your friendships and group activities will be. And this is uh, going on all month, but up until the 20th, it's going to be a reflective period while Saturn is retrograde. Saturn goes direct on the 20th. Okay, So reflect on this. Continue. You have been reflecting on this, I think, for the past few months. So continue to reflect on how releasing is improving your relationships. Then on the 20th, when Saturn goes direct, <clears throat> really putting really putting it into action, okay? Um, getting deeper with groups, you know? Perhaps, you know, it's the type of situation where it would really benefit you on all levels to really share, again, share yourself. You know, something like uh, group sessions where people are, are, are close to one another, spiritual circles, um, any type of healing work that you do within a group. All of this uh, will certainly help uh, your relationship sector and of course your spirituality sector. So let's talk about your spirituality. Let's start with that fourth house of those feelings that we talked about. <clears throat> Mercury rules your fourth, he's in your fourth. Okay, like we said. So direct, again, the more you feel into yourself, the more you're going to enliven your spiritual nature. Okay, that's emphasized twice. And it's emphasized both in the relationship sphere and the spirituality sphere. Now, in terms of that releasing your eighth house, Venus is in your third. Venus rules your eighth and she's in your third. So all of this releasing and transformation that is going on in your relationships, remember to share, share them and communicate them. You know, again, it's like counseling and like group sessions and all this really comes to mind. But it's not necessarily that, it's just to give you an, an idea. So, for example, sharing how you feel on social media on a regular basis, all of this is not only going to increase your relationship sector, but also your spirituality as well. And feeling your way through it, okay, like I mentioned. Then on the 13th onward, okay, getting deeper. All right, and feeling into your emotions and releasing all old attachments that aren't serving you. All right, second half of the month is really about releasing old conditioned feelings, old conditioned responses. All right, making way for the new. All right, so when next month, next month, you know, as self expression starts to activate your spirituality houses. All of this work you're doing, releasing all of these old conditioned feelings, is going to make room for more joy in your life. All right? So do the work this month of releasing. It can take courage, it can take uh, you know, uh, refinement, self-improvement, and um, discipline, but um, it will surely benefit you if you do, the more you can do it. And just do the best you can. Now let's talk about the 12th house, house which has to do with presence and universal love, the spirituality house, you might call it. 
for you, ruled by Saturn in your eighth. Again, emphasis on releasing, okay? Strongly emphasized in your spirituality sector. Release those attachments, release those old modes of thinking, and then through that, you're going to find a sense of peace and fulfillment and contentment with life and an understanding of life, too, and of your spiritual nature. So do take the time out this month to reflect, take some alone time, perhaps, or whatever helps you connect to your spiritual nature in order to release, okay? And, 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 and other people are going to play a role in this, too, okay? So people might be, you know, providing the... Uh, what do you call it, the, um, the arena for all of this releasing work, okay, which is good. And this is going to be particularly the case the last few, at least the last week of the month when Saturn goes direct in that eighth house of yours, okay? So Pisces, if you have any questions, please let me know. If you'd like a personal reading, I'm now offering a discount to my readings for $45.00. If you're interested, I'll put a link down in the About section. And as always, thanks for tuning in, and have a great month. All right, Pisces. Bye.